Hello, everybody. Salty Sweet Ren here, and welcome back to more of the Not So Berry Mint Generation. And I am back here with Araminta after last episode, where we had what was kind of a really weird, not quite disastrous harvest fest, but just. It was a harvest fest for a single sim with a player who does not particularly like harvest fest, that player being me, of course. And uh, we also started what might be a little bit of a workplace flirtation, if it weren't for the fact that the only person that she finds attractive is married. But yeah, last episode when she went into work, uh, she met her co-worker Remo, who she finds extremely attractive. Like, he is the most handsome sim that she has ever laid eyes on. Like, everybody else she finds just, like, basic looking or unattractive, or maybe if you're lucky they're attractive. But he is extremely attractive, except that he is already married to a dragon no to a dragonborn named Dremtid Bizora. So I'm not sure how I feel about us possibly pursuing Remo. So I'm probably gonna have her go out today and start meeting some new people. If it seems a little early in the game for us to like start looking for romance, uh, part of this is because in the challenge, um, one of the future generations, the yellow generation, would be her grandkid and needs to have a close bond with their grandparents, who would be Araminta here. So because they have to have that close bond, I need her to have kids pretty early so that she can still be alive by the time uh, the next generation comes by the time the next, uh, by the time she starts having grandkids or a grandkid, whichever one comes, whichever one happens. So I'm thinking I'm going to start like sending her to places like bars and nightclubs and cafes and have her meet people. I've got some lots like a cinema and a bowling alley that might be fun to, ch to check out. There's a few other lots that were like down. I've had some lots that I downloaded from like the gallery. Uh, I'll probably like put a link to like a list somewhere of like all of the ones that I use. But it'll be pretty fun to like check out some of those places, I think, and maybe we can meet someone there. Who knows? Oh my gosh! It's Mika! Oh my gosh, Mika's become an elder. She's still alive though, at least. I was actually I was actually like searching around town to see if I could find Destiny, but Mika is here. It's good to see you, sweetie. Anyway, I'm not seeing Destiny right now, but when I did see her walk by earlier, she had a huge pregnant belly. So I don't know what's happened since we've like just started leaving her alone. But uh, apparently she's pregnant, so good for her, I guess. <laughs> anyway, though, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, send off Araminta to go and uh, head to a bowling alley, I think. I think she might enjoy some bowling. Let's, let's send her up to do that. Oh my gosh, hot daydreaming. And either way, we're already moving on. But we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to move on from Remo, okay? We're trying to move on from Remo because he is a married man. So this is the Rock and Roll Bowling Alley made by Simarchy123, I believe is their name. Like, I, ho I hope I got the- I hope I got it right. I know it's rock and roll something. It might be bowling gallery. I think it's bowling alley, though. But where are we off to? Are we off to go and order a drink, apparently? Okay. And immediately I can see a tabaxi in here. Oh my gosh, it's colorful. Wow, my eyes. This place is very much like a cosmic bowling place, which is exactly what it was going for, I am sure. Oh, we're off to go and introduce ourselves to an orc somewhere? Hidenobu? Maybe we find Hidenobu attractive or something. Who knows? We'll see, I suppose. Uh, hello! I just saw you appear out of nowhere, Vlad. Oh, we we have a crush on him right away. <laughs> Feels like love at first sight. Wise? Maybe, maybe not. Irresistible? Very much so. And we think he's interesting. But I did see the little thing that meant he's not as used in us. Yeah, he thinks we're a nature maniac, but we also perceive him as unattractive. Excuse me? Vlad, why? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Vlad's just doing his thing, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna let this... I'm gonna let the game run for a little bit while I see if I can have more sims start loading in. And then I'm going to have her scope the surroundings. Oh, we should probably introduce ourselves to Laurelin over here. Enthusiastic introduction. 
Let's see, there's only these four up here. Is everybody else like downstairs or something? Yeah, there's a couple of uh, teens down here, it looks like. And then down here, there's even more stuff that people can do, but it doesn't look like anybody's actually doing anything. I, I think I missed out on some of the stuff that was happening up here. Hello? Wait, hang on. We're happy because we're thinking about an attractive sim. Well, why don't we just go ahead and scope the surroundings, perhaps? Let's scope this place out, see what we think of people. Hasn't noticed anybody interesting. What if we go downstairs, maybe? Well, these guys are teenagers who definitely can't... Oh yeah, let's head on down here, how about? And see what we think of people down here. I can't tell if you're... if you actually have green hair down here. Oh look, there's actually... there's a bunch of people down here. It is taking a while to come down here, but while we're down here... Now let's scope the surroundings. Is there anybody in this room who is attractive? Anybody on this floor that we might be interested in? Nobody! Okay. Well... <sighs> we did have a crush on Hidenobu. But, hmm... We're immediately not getting along with this guy over here, apparently. I genuinely don't know what her type is, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what exactly her type is. I'm gonna introduce her to everyone and try to figure out. So, what about, what about Abdul? He's attractive. Mildly attractive. He's also an elf, I can tell by the ears. And it looks like he's already feeling pretty flirty. Let's, let's see what happens between these guys. <laughs> Let's see, you want to play darts from being near a dart board. Uh, let's go ahead. Why don't we play darts with, um... Apparently we can't play dar darts with him, even though we've just spoken with him. Well, let's just go ahead and practice darts. At the very least, this place is good to, like, at least get us out of the house, perhaps? Maybe? Oh, is everybody leaving? Oh, and there's... I think that the game is just generating townies at this point. That's my best guess. We're just having townies generated now. I guess that we have to play darts with another person, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Let's see if we can actually play with somebody. We don't like Vlad, I can tell. Eric Levataz, perhaps? I know that he is married, but let's play with him anyway. I'm not playing it to be like, I find you attractive, I'm playing it just to see if like, it's, if, like he falls under her type. I know she was into Remo. But what does that mean for other sims? I do wonder, should I have her break up the marriage uh, between Remo and uh, his wife? I, I don't know how I feel about that. But at the same time, that's literally the only sim she has found extremely attractive. More than just a tiny bit attractive. I'm pretty sure that Abdul is technically a sim that was generated. I'll probably keep him like as an elf. But I'm probably gonna have to clean him up, and if I clean him up, She's probably not gonna find him attractive anymore, like... The game can be weird like that. I think that there's like certain areas here that just don't have staff at all, and they should, probably. Oh, Eric ended up beating us. Okay, no, that's fine. Thank you for the good game, Eric. I don't think we actually have introduced ourselves. Let's do an enthusiastic introduction. I know, let's, let's introduce ourselves to Jiro here. Is Eric at all our type? No, he's basic looking. What about Jiro? Where is Jiro on here? There's Jiro. What do we think of Jiro? Basic looking. Everybody is basic looking to us. What? Who? What is her type? Apparently, it's Earth Genasi, and it's just one specific Earth Genasi so far. Oh, you're the barista here. Okay, Ayame is the barista. Why don't, we, why don't we go ahead arrange marriage for self? Or, uh, no, uh, let's just go ahead and chat with him a little bit. Ask if he's single. We need to know if he's single, first off. I know he's an adult and we're a young adult, so we probably don't have a ton of time. Uh, he is single. I see, I see. Uh, let's go ahead. It's singles night. You know what? That's good for us. Does this mean that other singles are going to start, like, generating, or...? Hold on, is Panic pregnant, too? Oh my gosh, she is. And she still dislikes us. Oh, we need to use a computer to cause mischief a few times at some point. We need to do that at some point. Oh my gosh, is that Destiny? 
Oh my gosh, look at her. She's here for tea Tiefling Ladies Night Meetup. Oh my gosh. It's the Tiefling Ladies Meetup. Okay, I, I need to see. I need to know what's going on with her. Because she is definitely clearly pregnant. She is pregnant with twins. One male and one female baby. She is only her first trimester, but like... It's so blatant, too. It might only be her first trimester, but I could easily tell when she was, like, walking past the house before. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, we're playing Blick Block. The 3D version. It's kind of like, sort of, Tetris meets Minecraft in virtual reality. While also getting shot at, like, that one alien game. Oh, did we lose? I guess we lost. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually have her come up here and scope the surroundings again. Because there could be a bunch of different sims up here. Most of the ones downstairs I know are married. There has to be somebody who's your type in this building at some point. We've been here like basically all day. Oh, there's a few people. Let's see. Uh, you find Ipe Nakatani attractive. You find Hope Levata is attractive. She, she's a little older than you. Uh, you find Izumi Nakatani. Wait, I think that these two might be married. Are they married? Yeah, they're married. I don't think we- I don't think that they are an option. <laughs> is every- is every- are we just attracted to two people who are already married? Is that what's going on here? Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Let's go- let's order some actual food. Come on, let's order a meat and cheese platter. It's large enough, it'll draw more attention. And, oh, and and the barista left. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's cool. Great. Okay, I really just don't know what your type is at this point. I'm... I think I'm gonna send you home. At this point, I might... I literally might just either have you go for the elf guy who I'm gonna give a makeover and you'll probably not be attracted to him anymore. And even then, you only find him a little bit attractive, not extremely attractive. Or we try and break up Remo's marriage. Which, to be fair, you are kind of a mischievous sim who's up to no good, so might be in, might be something that she does. <sighs> well, either way, let's go ahead and just grab something to eat. Get some leftovers, I guess. I don't know. Oh, have you gotten the mail yet? You didn't get the mail yet. We need we need to check on stuff for the um, elements, and we've collected everything. Now, what have we got? Okay, we've got this orange-colored one. Paraxium, I don't believe we have. Uh, we have Sidralin. Do we have Sidralin? I believe that that's Sidralin right there. We have two Volantons. And one of them fit on here. And then we have Meliku, which I believe is that one right there. Okay. So we got a, we got a few new ones and a few old ones. So let's go ahead and sell all the old ones that we have duplicates of. And I, then she also needs to go to sleep. I'm gonna have her troll to forums before she goes to sleep. Can I have her do that? Troll the forums and cause some chaos and then you can go to sleep. I know you're- I know you're uncomfortable, but just cause mischief, please. We need- we need to do it at least three times for the next thing to happen. Hello? What- what is this? Where did this come from? It appears that we now mysteriously have a giant ice rink next to our house. Okay. Sure. <gasps> it's winter! Oh, that's a cute little jingle. Oh, that's fun. Uh, let's go ahead and troll the forums again. Because we, we, we do need to just have some fun. Come on. Troll the forums again. And over here, it looks like somebody started making... Are those... Regular patties or veggie patties? I can't tell. If they're veggie patties, we can have it. Otherwise, no, we cannot. Oh, wait a second. I almost had her order a meat and cheese platter. I have to remember, she's a vegetarian. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's one of the fun things about this challenge is it's going to push me to have to remember stuff that I otherwise wouldn't even think of. Let's see. Let's actually make something different for breakfast. We'll make scrambled eggs with ba- No, not bacon, not bacon. No, 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 no. Actually, scratch that. We're not doing that one. We need something vegetarian safe. We're making vegetable dumplings for breakfast. And we're cooking level three. That's awesome. But you're going to ignore it in favor of a piece of fruitcake that you hate. 
sure. It, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, you're trolling to forums on your own now. You know what? <laughs> Good for you. There we go! Mischief level 4. Awesome! We got another milestone complete! Now we need to pull 10 pranks and achieve level 6 of the mischief skills. What kind of pranks can we do? We can uh, use objects like we can use the phone, the computer, the observatory. Interesting. So you're still feeling bad from that. You want to go ice skating. You know what? Sure. We've got a little ice skating rink like right by your house for some reason. Let's just give it a go. Let's just see how this works. Oh, hey, we've got the fitness skill now. At the very least, at some point, we'll learn how to do this. Oh, wait, you're, you want to perform a skating routine? What? Hello? I don't think you're prepared for much more of this, but... Oh my gosh. Well, let's see what your routine is. You're definitely trying to be graceful. I can see it. I can see you trying real hard there. Okay, but I really do need to have you stop and go and take a shower, sweetie. Go and take a rest. And is that me? Oh my gosh, it's me. Hello, me. Okay, so I'm gonna have her do one more ch time, like, trying to go somewhere to see if we can find anyone she finds attractive. Uh, let's actually have her travel to the cinema this time. And if we can't find anybody at the cinema that she finds attractive, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh look, there's another Earth Genasi here. Halcyon Nixora. So I'm guessing you're also married to a dragonborn or something. So um, this cinema was also actually made by someone called um, Kimbu25. It's called Fox Cinema 8, and it actually looks really cool. I've never actually tried this cinema before, but they really made it look super cool. But shall we introduce ourselves to Halcyon before he has to work? Let's do a friendly introduction. Oh, he's tired. All right, we've introduced ourselves. Do we find him extremely attractive? Basic looking. So what is it about Remo? And you're also married to Melody. What is it about Remo that we, she finds extremely attractive? Do, do we gotta mess with this guy's marriage? I don't feel good about it, but like... Is that what we've gotta do? Okay, well... Let's go ahead and pull a prank on Panic here. Oh look, it's more Tiefling Ladies Night. I'll, we're always gonna have Tieflings show up whenever we go places. Let's trick her with a hand buzzer, why not? Oh wait, we got tricked with a hand buzzer. Let's go ahead and just keep being mischievous with you. Oh, we could just keep doing this. Ask her due date? I mean, I think she was pregnant, to be fair. Oh hey, we've reached another level of mischief. Okay, well at the, le at the very least, we're actually getting along well with Zeus for some reason? Or at least we seem to be- oh, never mind. <gasps> oh, look who it is! It's Remo! Over here! Okay, well, let's go ask him about his day. Like, hey, I wasn't expecting to see you here! Which, to be fair, is true. I was not expecting to see Remo here. And we're just joining his conversation with Destiny as well. Hi, Destiny. Let's see. Oh my gosh. You want to do a bold pickup line on someone. It's guys night. Gentlemen Sims can str strut up to the bar. Well, that doesn't help us. I think it works. But at the same time, he's married. Maybe it could just be like a fling or something? I don't know. We're asking a risque question. But it didn't work. Well, she does also want to share her insecurities. Which has something to do with the fact that she's a jealous sim. You know, she is a jealous sim. I think she would actually, because she is jealous, I think she would try and break up their marriage. I wonder, would she try and, like, make this, like, about, like, Hey, so, I, like, apparently you're married, but you didn't tell me that when we started flirting at the science lab, right? Or ask if he's single. Does she know- does she actually know that he's married? She's starting to suspect that he's not, basically, but... We've learned that Rima was single! 
Is he? Did he break up with his wife? Apparently he did! So I guess Remo is available? Let's be flattering then! Let's go ahead and have a, ahead and have a deep conversation! I don't know! We can share our insecurities with him still. We can flirt? Let's just like start making this a little bit flirtatious. Hang on, hang on. Are, are people fighting? What is happening? Hello? What is this? Panic is fighting somebody over here? Oh dear, a Panic is fighting Yalias! Okay. Not entirely sure what the fight was about, but there was a fight there. Oh, that's awkward. The elf guy kind of had a little bit of a crush guy, a crush on this over here. But you know what? We never really acted on the crush. We don't have any romance with him, so... Ask him to hang out? I saw that he almost said goodbye. No, nope, we're not going. We're gonna hang out. Okay, you can hang out for a bit. Awesome! Let's go ahead and exchange numbers, and you also want to embrace him from being near in a romantic relationship. So you know what? There's a good chance that we might wind up with Remo here. Because apparently he... Hello? But yeah, apparently he broke up with his wife. Which I was not expecting to happen. But now he's available, so... Why is that dragon worn run streaking? Okay. <gasps> we can have our first kiss. Oh, let's go for it. Why not? Let's go for it. Let's go for the first kiss. Why not? Oh. And now I think that they are kind of are they official quite yet? I don't know if they're official, but I know that's one of the... That's a... Gadiel! Oh my gosh. Is Gadiel a young adult now? Oh my gosh, he is! I remember with the, when, I la when I left off with the Van Steer family legacy, um, he was a toddler at the time. And now look at him, he's all grown up! Well, let's go ahead and watch a movie together. Moonlight Massacre 3 with Remo. Oh wait, can you not reach it? Uh, go here together? Does this place work? I hope it does. Oh, we're going in through a side entrance. <laughs> okay, can we make the TV turn on here? Okay, apparently we cannot reach the TV for some reason. Give me a second. Okay, I think I finally found a movie screen that'll work. It took me several tries, several TVs, several sizes. I had to get rid of the curtains. And I think Remo's already gone, and it didn't work. Really? Are you kidding me? Did it really not work? I totally thought I had it. Okay. I might have to replace this with a different cinema that does work then. Unless cinemas are just designed... Like, cinemas just don't work in general. I, I gotta guess it has something to do with these platform things here. I'll try and fix this at some point. Whatever's going on, I'll have to figure this out. I'll probably replace this with a cinema that I wound up making uh, in my Whimsy Legacy. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna send her home and then probably end the episode there. But hey, uh, Remo at least is single now. And uh, hopefully we'll stay that way. Because... He is extremely attractive, and she is a very jealous sim. If he starts flirting with anybody else, who knows what she might do. I mean, she does have to complete mischief, and who knows what she'll, what she'll do. I mean, after all, voodoo is kind of a huge part in that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge. Um, if you enjoyed watching this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if you're not already, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Subscribing is completely free and you can always unsubscribe at any time, but subscribing really helps out the channel, so I'd really appreciate it if you do. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the future. Stay safe, everybody.